So taking a quick look at Ethereum on the daily time frame then as we can see pretty unaffected by the recent market volatility instilled by Bitcoin going up and reaching that new all-time high. Obviously it had a huge rejection at that level. As most people I think would, would expect, I think Bitcoin crashed down from 69.2k, the new all-time high, all the way down to around 60k I think, which was a pretty crazy drop. I bet a lot of people in retail were not expecting that in the ETF zone. But as you can see for Ethereum, we have been having a really, really nice run and it has continued regardless of the volatility that we did see for Bitcoin. As I said before in my previous videos, heading up towards that all-time high, up here at around 5k. Ethereum with very little resistance on the way up there. We did stall out at that last resistance in and around that 078 Fibonacci at $3,400 here. But as you can quite clearly see, we have broken above that again and now really not much resistance at all on the way to that 4.9k all-time high, close to that 5k psychological level of course. You can see this chart's very, very bullish indeed. We were basically coming up in this kind of ascending triangle pattern like this with obviously that 050 Fibonacci at around 2.1k being that resistance level. We came out, back tested that, came up and touched the 618, came down and back tested again in this area of chopping, basically just the breakout back test and then that, that absolutely amazing run that we've been on for Ethereum over the past few weeks. Basically just up only, straight up price action. On the hourly time frame, you can see where we did see that Bitcoin all time high being made and then the big rejection dragged the market down. Ethereum with a huge, huge uh, retracement from $3,800 all the way down to $3,200. So a $600 drop for Ethereum in the space of a few hours. Really, really nice entry if you had to buy orders down here. Congratulations. But you can see here we came back up, retested the 100 moving average on the hourly. And then looking like we are just going to keep continuing by the looks of things. Very, very bullish price action for Ethereum at the minute. Everyone just piling in before the halving, obviously. And Bitcoin looking like it might be coming up and making more all-time highs and price discovery pretty soon. Things are really starting to gear up. And in my opinion, this is looking very similar to what we saw back here. If you look at this bit stamp chart from the previous bull run, you can see obviously we had our bear market here where we came down from the previous high at around, what was it, $1,350? The 2018 all-time high we came down. Bear market con consolidation and you know accumulation in a range. You can see we kind of came down and did the same thing for Ethereum, but it, I think it performed better in this bear market than the last. But obviously, you can see once you do start to get in, break, break and back test, and then you're getting into your bull market here. You can see a very similar thing happening here. As I said, you've got that ascending triangle, the break, the back test, and we're just getting into that move now where you're probably going to see Ethereum heading up into these extensions here, anywhere from 10 to 15K. I think it's fairly likely for Ethereum in this bull market, considering its size now as well. But you can see very, very similar to what happened here. Your range, you break your back test, and then we're just seeing this now, aren't we? We're about, I'd say, at this stage here for this bull market, and then we're looking for that extension into the bull market proper when Bitcoin gets the halving. So very interesting to see what happens next. Ethereum looking really, really strong in this local area. It looks like it's up only, doesn't it, to be honest, unless Bitcoin has a big correction. But we'll see going into the halving what Ethereum has in store. So 